So over here, you can see that I have a background node right here attached onto media L. And in the background node, if you were to go around onto the center option, you can see it says image right here. So once you go around over here, uh, you don't see any options. And as you can see, so there's within height and there's color space right here. But there is no image for these um, uh, settings to work. So if you want to work around with these settings, then what you can do is you can attach out uh, an image from the media uh, pool over here, bring it in as a node and then attach it to the background. So to do that, I'm going to go around, bring in this image node right here, just like this. And now what you can do is over here on the end, you can see that uh, there's this node output right here. So all you need to do to attach up the uh, uh, media node that is this image node on to the background so that it shows in output is you can click and drag this around and attach it to the output of the background. So once you do that, this is what you see right here. So there's a merge node which merges out the background well, with the uh, uh, media right here and then there is a media out. So if you were to go around onto the background right here, you can see that the within height cannot be changed right now. That is because uh, uh, the auto resolution is turned on. If I were to turn this off, now you can work around with the width of the um, of the image as you can see right here and change the size just like this. And you can work around with the different depth of colors over here as well. And even go around and change out different color space according to how you want if the proper color space is not being used. You can also go around and then remove out certain curves right here and change the logs. But usually you don't need to change around a lot of things over here. So it'll change out the color space accordingly if you apply them as well. So this is what you have and the process right now is full frames, but you can also set it to NTSC or PAL depending on the source as well. But leaving it to default just uh, does everything okay as well. So this is what you have. You can go around, change the height, the width, and you can also go around, add in the pixel aspect ratio, just like this, and everything gets adjusted automatically. So that is how you can work around with the Fusion background image settings inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.